What up, world? It's Tuesday again. That means it's time for Adventure Tales. Another weekly video of good old shenanigans and hooligans and some random fun that we might have. Yep, I'm sorry about last week there not being a video. I blame that on gravity. I may have sprained my ankle. I don't know exactly what happened, but there was a foot involved and a cinder block, and it was just a mess. That Don't worry about it. Other than that, all right, we are bringing back the word of the week. All right, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And we're going to reward you with a word. That'll give you a dollar off your first beer any day of the week. And that word is going to be love. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. All right? And in our personal way of celebrating it, we're having our own little stupid Cupid party. All right? Just an anti-Valentine's Day party. <laughs> but with that being said, you know, I'm a man who gives second chances. And I, I fully believe I deserve a second chance at love. So I'm going to take one. I've met this girl online. Her name's Michelle Green. Now I know part one you might be thinking, What? Online girl? Oh, that'd be a bad idea. I'll make it worse. I may have been imposing as a girl as well. But you know, we met on Tinder. And it's 2018. Anything could happen. So today, I'm going to actually FaceTime her. We're going to see if we have any chemistry going on. Let the magic be. Hello, Justina. Well, uh, hello, Michelle. It's nice to finally meet you in person, more or less. Yeah, I mean, we've been we've been texting for weeks at this point, but yeah, we we've been hitting it hard on Tinder. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm definitely glad I swipe white right, but I don't know if it's the alcohol or what, but you look a little different than your uh, profile pic. I mean, I I could say the same to you, like. Honestly, based on your uh, Tinder pictures... Wait, uh, who, who the hell was that man in the background? Oh, uh... Are you dating yeah, someone already? Like, Michelle, yeah, are, are you in a relationship? No. No. Person. Who's this? Is that the growler I mailed you? It's just... A, just it's, you know, well, what is this? Yeah... Christina, is there something you have to tell me? Like, it's, I was expecting, like, a Kate Upton, but honestly, I, I feel like right, I've been catfished so, by Ellen DeGeneres. I, alright. I may have been posing as someone who I'm not, but that doesn't change the way I feel about you, Michelle, you know? Well, I only did I'm, that so I could get to your heart. I'm pretty relieved you say that because uh, I have a little secret of my own. These aren't really my glasses. What? Also, I'm a man as well. I'm, I'm glad we have this in common. Though. It, it's almost kind of funny. I, I, all right, well, that's a surprise. But you know what? This is 2018. I, I think we could make it work, you know? Exactly. You know, it's, we, we met over talking, so. We're very progressive. I mean, well, what are your hobbies? What, what do you do? My hobbies, uh. I like to play guitar. I'm in a band called Fat Stanley. We have stickers. And we play at uh, Adventure Brewing sometimes, you know. I was playing uh, on St. Patty's Day this month. Be there, be square. That's sure to be fun. That's well, going to be awesome. But I uh, personally, what I like to do on my spare time, not a lot of people know this about me, but because I'm willing to be open, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, I collect Barbies, you know. I've been doing so since, like, before I was bo born. Like, this is my uh, Kansas State City Barbie. You know, that actually explains a lot. What I'm saying is that these are going to be worth money right now. Like, everyone thinks Bitcoins is the shit. Bitcoin? Just wait. No, no. Barbie no. Bitcoins isn't going to be worth crap. At the end of the day, yeah. Barbies. That's going to be yeah, worth the money's at. 7000 uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure that Barbie dolls at least, like... Yeah, no, the inflation's going to go up. Absolutely. I got my uh, Virginia State Barbie. Oh wow! Oh yeah, I've been collecting before I was born. This is my like my inheritance practically. Wow! I Man, I think my grandmother started it. In the prize, you know, I'm not gonna show them this, all, all of them to you. I but the cherry on top of the Barbie Sunday, Barbie. on top of the Barbie Sunday, the Penn State Barbie. Barbies. Penn State. Oh yeah. They're a JMU Barbie doll. 
Hell no. In fact, I'm disgusted yeah. you would even ask that. A JMU Barbie been... doll. It's, it's, it, does this mean this isn't going to work? It, it probably won't. Like, I, I could look past the whole gender thing and maybe... But, but not the JMU Barbie thing? Dates, but not, not the, uh, yeah, you don't have a JMU Barbie doll. Like I don't that. think I'd want to do it if, I, if that was a requirement. I mean, I, I mean, I'll see you on St. Patty's Day, but other than that, this is over. Yeah. All right, Michelle? I expect it to be very awkward now. It probably will be. Good day, madam good, or good day, sir. Sir. Now. All right, so that, that day didn't really go as well, or even as I thought it would be. But, hey, you know, some you win, some you lose. That's the whole of freaking story. Either or until then, hope to see you on Stupid Cupid. Sure to be a blast. Cheers. This has been Adventure Tales.